It's not a romantic idea, it's, it's our life systems that are at stake here. So rewilding, the idea is now, let's say, 10, 12 years old. Uh, it's about a notion and a, and a paradigm shift in thinking that although we all grew up in a cultivated landscape and we think that we have to manage and control everything, actually we start seeing lots of examples where nature is, can also do a few things by itself. And so you could say we have lost trust in nature. So what we are doing is to demonstrate this vision for a wilder Europe in a number of places across uh, the continent, 10 big landscapes. So we are removing dams and dikes to, for rivers to, f to, to naturally behave again, or wetlands to be restored. We're bringing back keystone species into systems to play their role of grazing and, and so on. And we are, in many places, stepping back and let nature do its own job. So it's a lot about non-intervention, and any intervention that happens is to create the conditions for nature then to take over and us stepping back. I strongly believe that change doesn't come from governments, it comes from society, right? It, becomes, it comes from civil society organizations, individuals, companies, entrepreneurial people that are looking for different solutions or new solutions. And by demonstrating how this can work, how it benefits people, how it benefits you know, us moving towards more climate resilient landscapes, but also, of course, how it benefits biodiversity and, and restoration of nature, that's the way to then convince governments policymakers and regulations to allow for this to happen. So the question is, of course, how to scale up from those examples that show what can happen at a much larger scale. And that's why we work with models and principles that you can adopt elsewhere and apply elsewhere, because you know, we have a proof of concept that they can work. It's not a romantic idea, it's, it's our life systems that are at stake here. You know, water doesn't come from a tap, it comes from a wetland, it comes from nature. And Pollination comes from insects that we are destroying big time all across Europe and, and, and the world. So our lives as people, we depend on nature. And uh, I think it's important to realize that. Uh, so it's not like a romantic idea, but it's an absolute necessity. So our long-term goal in Rewilding Europe is that rewilding becomes a, a mainstream approach to nature recovery in Europe, where we use natural processes and nature. We help nature to restore itself at scale. And of course, we want to see big results and impact of that happening. We want to see wilder rivers. We want to see wilder landscapes when nature is uh, present again and, and where people benefit uh, at scale.